Hello everybody and welcome to the sound test room. Today we are going to take a look at Chordflow. So recently Chordflow got updated and now it's just incredible. So I reviewed this uh, when it was first released uh, a while ago and it was it was brilliant then uh, but now it's just phenomenally good. So you can, it's let's see, you have four playheads basically with Chordflow. I'm using three here and you can have an internal synth or a, a controlling MIDI. So I've got it for the purposes of this demo. I have it controlling uh, Korg Monopoly, uh, I think. Korg Monopoly in channel one, so playhead one, playing one. Uh, Korg Odyssey I, Odyssey I, Odyssey I, I, I Odyssey <coughs> in channel two, and Poison 202 from Jim Audio in channel three. And I'll just play you what I've got, um, and I've set up a little thing, and then I'll show you. The, I mean, this thing is absolutely brilliant. Now you can see everything that's going on. You just need to touch uh, the chords, and you can see that we have three chords set up in section one. You can add sections. You can see you can add loads and loads of sections. You can choose how many bars it plays for beats, etc. So, for instance, this last chord is playing for two bars of sixteen beats. This one's playing for fun. You can see the chords there, a C minor with a C bass, A minor with a C bass, F minor 6 with a C bass. Just fantastic. But let me just play you what it sounds like, and then I'll 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 show you a new a new track here. So you do have an internal synth, um, but the nicest way to use this obviously is to set up your synthesizers via MIDI. Um, and you do that here. So you can have, you see, it has a fourth one, which I'm not using at the moment. Because you don't always need four, and it starts to sound it starts to sound a lot very busy. Um, so monic monopoly set on channel one, Odyssey on two, um, poison on three, and then to set them up, your synths up basically. All you need to do is, for instance, in poison, you'd go to settings and you'd see their MIDI in channel, so it's receiving MIDI in from chord flow on channel three, and because we're, we're playing it from channel three. And the same with uh, Monopoly here. Uh, you just need to go to your uh, settings and you'll see that that's Global MIDI Channel there. Interesting. Uh, it could have just been one anyway. So we could just put it on Channel 1. That's, oh, I know why, because earlier I was thinking, why am I triggering this with this and sort of thing. So. And again with the Odyssey, uh, I think I've probably got this set on 2. Yep, yeah, MIDI Channel 2. So <clears throat> that's what you do to set your synths up. You just choose the channel. So it kind of sounds like this uh, as playing them two synths. And then I added the poison on the second track. Now, you can set it to change automatically or you can trigger it automatically. So this little looper thing here, you can say it's repeat one. So if it's on repeat one, it'll just continually repeat section one. If it's on repeat all, it will run through them all. So if we put all and then... So you see how that works. So if we add another section, say, and we'll see that when we add this section, now what we can do is we can hit settings here, sorry, excuse me, hit edit here, and you can choose to delete that particular channel, or you can clone it there. So, or you can, and then you can rename it, or you can, so you can delete, clone, or rename. And if it's, a, I know it says clone, but you can then add different things it just clones what you already have so you have a basis to build on sort of thing so let's get rid of this one for a, a sec and we'll just start with a complete blank so we just hit this little plus here and it gives us a blank 
pattern, uh, which start, gives us a chord start of C for two bars. So it, all we need to do is, no, no, cancel, cancel. Oh, delete that, delete. Okay, I need to go, don't get out of there. Um, we need to, so like we said, right, okay. So channel four gives us a chord bar of C with a, a, a chord of C with four, two bars or eight. So we just tap this to get going and we select channel one, channel two, channel three or channel four. Channel four is the internal synth. Okay, so if I just start to play now, if I just draw in some stuff here and then press play. We can delete sections. And we can draw in different ways. Let's choose our next instrument. And let's throw a bit of the old Air Poison 202 in there as well. But let's do this with a different one. Let's draw it. Let's up the octave of that one. And let's delete the whole thing on that one. Let's draw in a few more. And here is where we can choose our steps. And our rate. Doesn't affect the tempo, just the rate. Okay, so let me turn it down a little bit and we'll explain the chord sections to you too. So this is your chord your chord blocking here. Just have this and then you can see that you have one. Well you can add as many as you like. And of course, this will all play C. So if we, the highlighted one is the one you're actually working on. So let's change this one to a C minor. Let's change this one to a C sharp. C sharp minor with a sixth, <laughs> with a C bass note. Oh, no, 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 C sharp bass note. That wouldn't be right, would it? Change this one to say a E flat minor, oh, or E flat minor, or E flat diminished, with it with an added nine. Let's throw a couple of different things on there. Let's throw a a nine in there as well, and on that one, I think. And that's our section for there. And we can do the same again. We can duplicate the section. So we could just hit our edit button up here. Uh, choose to clone that section or duplicate it if you like. So we clone it and then we're gone. And but we, then we can change out the chords that are already there. So like we're not stuck with those now. So we've duplicated it. Let's just say, oh, okay. Well, let's move this up to a C sharp. Add nine, and we'll move this up to a C sharp as well, and we'll move this one up to a D flat, and we'll move this one up to an E. 
what will happen now is you'll get the transposition between these two. So if we just play these two, And that's basically how you build your songs up. So, and then when you're done, you can save the session. Uh, I, I'll just save that now as demo. And then you can recall it whenever you like. So there you go, guys. Ep epic chord flow. Um, the, the new version. It's so, it's so intuitive and so easy to use. You don't need any musical skill at all. Uh, so, you know, but you can build some, some very, very, very complex and clever patterns and things and play with the way that things are edited and stuff and your 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 patterns and things you just draw them in awesome job thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video uh if you did like the video please uh, subscribe to the channel consider becoming a patron thanks for watching i'll see you later